Hello everyone, welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So what is our today's topic? How to study physical chemistry? Like we have a lot of questions in our mind. What is physical chemistry? How do we study the theoretical concepts of this physical chemistry? There are a lot of numerical problems that we need to solve in physical chemistry. How to remember the formulas and a lot of many other questions are there in our mind. So in this video, we are going to discuss some of the very basic aspects of how to study physical chemistry effectively and in a very good manner. So the very first and foremost important thing is to have a very basic uh, theoretical knowledge or a very good fundamental knowledge of uh, physical chemistry that is there are different laws and theories that you might come across in physical chemistry for example uh, in gases we have kinetic theory of gases and in electrochemistry we have Faraday's laws and many such laws and theories that we need to study in physical chemistry so to learn all these advanced concepts we should be uh, thinking in uh, an atomic or a molecular level like for example in different states of solids liquids and gases how are atoms arranged in all the three states and how these atoms would then combine to form molecules let's say for example this is a water molecule this is oxygen atom and two hydrogens so how hydrogen gas and oxygen gas would combine or undergo a chemical reaction to form molecules so this basic imagination of how atoms and molecules are arranged in different systems would really help in understanding many many concepts in physical chemistry let's say for example understanding a chemical reaction uh, this is basically a nuclear fission reaction this is a neutron and this is a nuclei both are the reactants or combine together or undergo a nuclear fission reaction to form two daughter nuclei so this is a chemical reaction in which you can see different arrangement of atoms or let's say for example uh, this chemical reaction where you can see uh, there is this solid copper in the bottle and the arrangement of copper atoms would be something like this and uh, in the jar there is also air or oxygen molecules so what would happen is this copper would react with this oxygen molecules to form a new compound that is copper oxide so in this way imagining atoms and molecules or imagining uh, systems at the atomic and molecular level makes understanding the concepts of physical chemistry very easy so for learning the theoretical concepts which books to refer so I had made a video based on which books to refer and that link I have provided in the description box so there are some very good books of physical chemistry which you can read so the next important point is the problem solving skills so once we read the theory we come across many laws and theories and lot of different formulas so do we need to really and remember all the formulas not really so once we remember some formulas uh, it is important that we should have some basic understanding of how to apply or application of the theoretical concepts and the formulas that we learn in books so is it that you have to be a very good like a mathematical genius like this boy to solve numerical problems not really or do we need to be afraid of numbers no what we need is basic mathematical operations that is addition subtraction multiplication and division this is at least more than enough for most of the numericals in physical chemistry and for some advanced concepts and numericals in let's say quantum chemistry and group theory we should have a little bit more mathematical knowledge of derivatives integration and some uh, little bit more maths and uh, in some cases where a calculator is allowed we must be knowing how to use a scientific calculator so we basically do not 
need to have a lot of mathematical knowledge to uh, that you should be afraid of to solve physical chemistry numericals very basic maths and you can easily solve any numerical in physical chemistry the next important uh, thing that comes into picture is after you have completed solving any numerical problem you should be very well, well you should be very well versed with the unit conversions so a different unit conversions here you can see some basic uh, fundamental units how do we convert let's say deci centi milli micro nano into meter so decimeter into meter and uh, all these basic unit conversions and we should also have some knowledge of the fundamental units because at the end many a times almost in all the numericals you will be requiring to convert one unit into another so a basic knowledge of unit conversion is also very important so i had made a video on unit conversions also and that video link is also given in the description so after having unit conversions what is next so practice so after knowing the theoretical concepts all the theoretical co concepts you are aware of then you do a lot of practice so once you are well versed with the theory you know the theory theoretical concepts different laws different theories and then you are also aware with all the different formulas and after knowing all these things uh, you also become aware of how to solve numericals then what you need to do last is practice practice and practice so what will happen is with with more and more practice you will learn more and accordingly you will improve more and more so you will learn from your mistakes and don't repeat the same mistakes again so this fundamental uh, unit or practice is very important not only for physical chemistry for any uh, aspect of life so do a lot of practice and a lot of hard work and you can uh, not only understand physical chemistry but any other subject for that matter so on this good note thank you so much